The last couple things I want to show you about using master pages were, um, revolve around the idea of not everything being exactly the same. So if we go to the first page of this chapter, let's say that this chapter is eight pages, so if I add a ninth page to this project, page nine would represent the beginning of chapter two. And so if I click and drag and I apply the C master to page nine, I didn't mean to do that there, let's do this. If I add right here um, a ninth page and it's going to be the beginning of chapter two, I can apply the template I created for the beginning of the chapter, but unfortunately because chapter one was the verbiage that I used when I created the template, it appears that chapter two is starting with the word chapter one. You can break items from the master page by using command or control on a PC, command, shift, and then clicking the element. Now, when you're on a master page, you know you're on a master page because you can just click on whatever's on the master page. But if you go to your actual page and you try to click anything that's linked to a master, it's locked and you cannot edit it. So it's in its place and it's, it's locked for a reason. But if there's an instance, like at the beginning of a chapter, and you really need to be able to edit, you can command, shift, and then click an item that's on an actual page but is linked to a master, and it will break it or disconnect it from the master. Now before I edit it, I want to go back and I'm going to change the C master. I'm going to change the color of this box. Let's make it this bright green color. When I did that, notice how even though I broke the link between the box and the master page, it still recognizes that the background color is green because I didn't break the connection, I didn't change the color of the background. Let's try, let's experiment, let's try a few more things. Let's change the typeface. So instead of using agency, I'm going to use Alice. Okay. Now if I go to that page, notice how it didn't change the text. So when I command shift clicked, um, it was viewing the fill color as an object and the text as something I was trying to edit. And so when I changed the typeface, it didn't flow down. So page one, it changed because I haven't broken that from the master. But on page nine, at the beginning of chapter two, I have broken that link. So it's really important that if you're going to use master pages in this example, where you have a template that's the beginning of every chapter or something like that, that your design needs to be really fleshed out before you break it from the master. Otherwise, a master page is not the right solution. This is more likely um, something that should be done using an object style for the frame that the text is in and a paragraph style for the text that's within the frame. Okay, but once we break it from the master, let's undo until it goes back to our, uh, I was gonna say pink, but it is definitely purple, our purple color. Once you break it from the master, you command shift click it, you could then modify it and say it's chapter two, and you can change the name of the chapter. Um, because nothing has changed, because the fill color of the text and the box are still the same and the typeface and the spacing is still the same, I can do this. But again, if I had to change it, if I decided to change the color of the background or the typeface, this would not be a workable solution. So sometimes what happens is you do this and you realize that was a bad idea. Or maybe you do it by accident. So you command shift click on your page number, which we're representing with a, a red circle right now, and you modify it in some way and you don't realize that you did it and you go, oh gosh, that was definitely a bad idea. If that happens, you can select the object and hit the option fly out menu. You can choose master pages and then you can remove the selected overrides. And it will say, okay, I took that object that you had selected and I will undo what you did and I will reset it to the master page settings. Don't do that if you made a substantial change, like if you were doing text for a novel and you changed all the words and you formatted the words, you don't want to do that because then you're going to lose all the text that you just edited. But if it's an example like this where you moved it by accident or you didn't mean to, you can relink it to the master page by selecting the object, hitting the option fly out menu, choosing master pages, and then you can choose to remove the selected local overrides.